What is up guys? Welcome to the first video in what's going to be a series where I document the gear and the guns that I use uh, in my profession as a full-time police officer and current member of my local SWAT team. Today I'll be showing you what is in my SWAT loadout, what I use during callouts, and training. So this behemoth of a bag is what I keep in my car at all times. This contains all of my gear, no guns, just a vest, my IFAC, everything that I would need to actually wear during a call out or during training. So let's get into it. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you the side pockets first. So in this side pocket over here is where I keep my boots. They are Under Armour, zip up boots, uh, they have been, these are ones that are actually fairly new, uh, but these things can take a beating. I love these, I wear these on patrol as well. Uh, They're phenomenal. By the way, nothing in this video is sponsored. Um, this is just the gear that I choose to wear. In this left pocket here, what we have is my uniform, essentially. We've got my shirt um, from TrueSpec, 511 pants, and I always keep an extra shirt in here, um, and I'll give you guys a sneak peek kind of what they look like. So this is the shirts that we wear. They're fine. They are very breathable in the middle, uh, and the arms are made of kind of a canvas material that's tougher. Um, doesn't tear or rip or anything like that. All right, guys, let's get into the meat and potatoes of the bag, what I wear on my body uh, during call out and during our trainings. So first up, we have the actual belt, our duty belt, uh, our combat belt, whatever you want to call it. This is a 511. Um, it's got kind of a snap feature here, it slides apart, slides back together, and secures. Um, I keep a tourniquet on my belt as well as in my eye pack, just so I have the easiest access to a current tourniquet if I do need it. Um, got all my belt keeps tied on here for easy access, that way I don't have to go digging through my bag whenever I'm trying to get all my stuff on to get to a call out as fast as possible. And in the back here, just got a dump pouch uh, for spare magazines. Sometimes I'll throw a water bottle in here, um, or empty magazines, I should say. Sometimes I'll throw a water bottle in here, um, just anything that I have that I don't want to be holding on to at the moment. And we've got our uh, level three holster, um, pretty standard for any sort of law enforcement holster that you're gonna see. Um, it does the job just fine. This holds a Glock 45 with a TLR, uh, Streamlight TLR on it. Next up, again, going in order, um, is we have our vest. This is, again, this is level three armor, um, front and back plate, shoulder, uh, ballistic shoulder pads, um, and this may be easiest to show putting it on. All right guys, so on the vest. First off, keep two spare Glock mags, 17 rounds each. Behind that, I have the mags for my AR. These are loaded up with 28 rounds each. This is my uh, radio holster. So I just take my patrol radio, I slide that in here, um, connect this up for my comms. This just screws right into the side of my radio. Uh, screw that in and it links up with my comms. This right here is my controller for my comms. So there's a push to talk function as well as on the bottom side here, uh, a controller for uh, ambient noise. So you can either set that low, normal, or high. Um, and that just controls the level of noise that you're going to hear from your surroundings. Our comms that we use are Invisio in-ear uh, with a bone mic. So it just kind of, this larger piece here wraps around the outside of your earlobe, goes around like that. There is a bone mic on here that presses to the inside of your ear and picks up any time that you talk, uh, and we'll relay that over the comms. So it should fit pretty much like that um, with the bone mic pressing down into your ear. And these things work like a charm. Um, it's a lot better than having that big mic hanging out in front of your face, in my opinion, uh, for the types of ops that we are doing. So just a couple more things on the vest here. Um, right here first, I have my admin pouch. In here, I'll throw my cell phone, uh, wallet sometimes. I keep a door wedge in here all the time. Uh, that way you can jam that into a door, keep it from closing again uh, if it is auto-closing doors. 
And the final thing on my vest, uh, my plate carrier, is my IFAC. Our team, everybody keeps their IFAC right here. This is for our medics to use on you. Each person carries their own medical equipment on them. Uh, so I will take this off. It's not easy for me to access. It's meant for the medics to access. So I will take this off and show you guys what's in there. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and open up our IFAC here and show you what, is, what exactly we keep in here. Um, first off, we have the cat tourniquet. I'll take that out for you. Just standard. We have emergency trauma dressing, a pair of trauma shears, a eye cover. There's your trauma shears. I believe these are going to be chest seals. Yep. Twin pack of chest seals. Moving into the top section here, um, we have a air release needle. Uh, this is something that our medics will use to actually put into your lung if you're shot in your chest cavity uh, in order to relieve pressure so that you can breathe again. We keep combat gauze in here. Uh, this is with quick clot um, infused into the gauze. And then finally here, uh, just standard gauze, um, a couple of rubber gloves, and then some rubber tubing as well. All right, so next up in our bag, again, going in order, is my ballistic helmet. Um, nothing fancy on here. We don't run nods, we don't run thermal, no lights. Um, this is just a bare bones ballistic helmet that I'll throw on with the rest of my equipment. Should fit securely and snug. Um, you don't want this thing flying all over, so you want it to be fairly snug. All right, so just a couple more things in our bag here. We're just gonna bust through them, get through it, and get onto the gun. I know that's what you guys really wanna see. So, in here, we have our gas mask. Uh, we do use gas very frequently. So this is extremely important to have. If you've never used a gas mask before, I've got this set up uh, the way that you should have any gas mask set up to where you can, the strap is over top of the front. You can throw this thing on, flip it over, check your seal. And as long as that suctions to your face, you should be good to go. Finally in here, my inner belt, a pair of goggles. I don't wear these very often. Uh, I normally just use regular shooting glasses whenever we go into a house, but we do have these if needed. These are full coverage goggles um, all the way around your eye. These are made by Appel. So the only other things that I keep in here are just a couple extra mags, two extra mags, um, one in a mag holder that I can put onto a vest uh, or onto a belt and a rain jacket um, that I can actually throw on as a base layer underneath my vest to try to keep my skin, uh, keep my body a little bit dry and stay warm uh, in those cold and rainy conditions. And this is just a very standard rain jacket. It's lightweight, it does its job, it keeps the rain off you. So now that we've finished going through the bag, let's get on to the guns. So we're here with the guns. Um, first things first, I got a 42 inch Plano hard case, uh, weatherproof with a pressure seal. This thing locks up nicely. Um, it's got a handle here. I can tie this down with a bike lock. Nobody's getting to it, at least not very easily. So let's unlock this thing and get into it. So first of all, this case has cutouts for everything. I've got my pistol here. I've got my rifle here, uh, some extra mags here. Um, these cutouts are fantastic. They keep everything secure. Nothing's getting jostled around on the way to a call or during training, throwing it around at the range. So getting into our sidearm first, uh, we carry Glock 45, 17 plus one, nine millimeter. Clear and safe for all you Karens out there. Um, I have a TLR one uh, high lumen on here. It's fantastic, extremely bright. This gun is phenomenal. It shoots fantastic. I've probably got two to 3,000 rounds um, just through this one. I carry the same gun on patrol um, and I've probably got four or 5,000 rounds through that. This gun shoots great. I love it. Um, if I could fit this on my body for my concealed carry, I would. This gun is absolutely fantastic. It's got that classic crisp Glock trigger with a nice loud audible reset. Uh, I love this thing. Next up, just an extra mag uh, for our Glock here. All loaded up, 17 plus one. Got my Barney bullet that I can toss in there. And now onto the rifle. Um, we use a SIG M400 SBR 10.5 inch barrel, uh, again with a Streamlight TLR. 
I have the second edition Vortex Spark AR mounted on here. Uh, this is a good, reliable optic. I used a similar one on my duty rifle, uh, my patrol rifle, for several years. Never had an issue with it. Um, I have the top mounted pressure switch for our stream light. Again, fantastic lights. I would recommend them. I carry one with me constantly. Um, they are fantastic lights. A stubby grip on here. I have this on all my rifles. I like it because it gives me a nice secure grip. Uh, my grip's the same every single time. I know right where my pressure pad's at. Anytime that I shoulder the rifle, bring it right up to me. Got my finger right on that pressure pad. Um, I'm a big advocate of these stubby grips. Whatever works for you, this is what works for me. So this is what I use. When it comes to the rifle itself, give you guys a little bit of a closer look at it here. SIG makes great products. Um, I've had two of their rifles. They shoot great, they're reliable. I've never had any major issues with them. Um, their triggers are fine. It's what you need for a combat trigger. You want something that's got a nice crisp wall. Uh, when the time comes where you need to break it, you can. All right guys, that wraps up uh, my SWAT loadout. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. Uh, I'm open to discussion. Again, like I said, what works for me doesn't necessarily work for you. Um, but I have tested this stuff. It seems to work well for me, uh, so I stick with it. If you have something that works better, let me know, uh, and I may try it out. Thanks for watching. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and share with anybody you think may be interested.